Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play House MD. I told you that face would be back to haunt you. I did not lie. Look at it. Look at that face. Foreman looks a little scared. That's not a happy smile, I don't think. But anyway, let's continue. And he wants to say that being bitten by a cobra was worse than getting blood drawn. I would like to introduce him to, you know, Captain Obvious. Just... Oh, look, it's Creepy Cuddy. Can I help you, House? She says. And there's a giant package in the corner of the room. Plot point or subplot point because it isn't a House MD episode until you have three or four subplots running in between the cast members. And of course, none of it business. And we got to do a biopsy. There's the package, just in case you're wondering. And of course, pack. Of course, we just go back to the same stock shot there, I guess. And yeah. Here we go. Won't biopsy on the package. Won't tell him. Blah, blah. So what did he come in there for? And he still tries to needle away at the whatever's in that box. Sex toys. Yeah, he's going to tell everyone sex toys is in there. Yeah. So, I don't know if he got permission to do the biopsy. Hope he did, because we're about to. We are going to drag... I forgot about that picture! He's looking at you. Yes, you, specifically. You can tell what he wants. Yeah. Creepy! Anyway, moving on. He apparently grew up to be a big fan of this guy. And he is unimpressed. How touching, he said. Yeah. And we're going to do the lung biopsy now. Which is one of the more active... God, please stop showing that. Wasn't he usually shaved? Wasn't he usually clean shaven on the show? Why did they give him five o'clock shadow? <sighs> hey, look, an episode they're reminiscing about old episodes of the show. And he memorized it. With that look on his face. This is still less creepy than that shot of Chase. That's all I want to say. Now we got to use the bronchoscope to explore. And we can use the arrow keys or we can click the on-screen arrows. I'm going to use the arrow keys just because. So let's see, biopsy anything that looks unusual. to find 10 of these. So, let's see. Go back left and right. And you will need to go left and right because you won't find them all. Unless you do. That creates an awfully neat little incision there, doesn't it? Eight. It does take off points for all the little times we bump against the side. And found them all. We gotta keep going. We're not done yet. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough it out. Dude. may notice the timer ticking away. So unless you complete, I'll just say that unless you completely just miss. Like it looks like I might have. Nope, found them all. And we get to keep going. Take three. Wasn't fun. I can't imagine that would have been fun. And we wait for the lab results. And now we have 13 and Foreman. No, who's else? Well, it's hospital. Never mind. Talk strain rate to CBC. And he wanted to be an astronaut. Why are you bringing that up now? Just, just, just wondering. It just. Why are you talking about this? Ah, okay, yeah, centrifuge. Yeah. Pukey McGee. Use the centrifuge to separate out the blood components for sample for testing. Spin in a circular motion. Maintain optimum speed. So. do yeah you spin it up to a certain point and then just kind of maintain it and now we have the fun part all we've got to do is follow the directions much like we did with the with drawing the blood open valves one four that's open open. Make sure 9, 10, 11, and 12 are closed. Make sure 7 and 8 are open. And 8. Spin A and B, keeping them within range of the green. Come on. This was never... The, this was always the worst part for me. Trying to make these things actually work. There we go. Close the valves. Open eleven. Spin C. I always try to spin it so fast just because, you know, that's kind of what you have to do in other games like this. But no, you just have to do it gently, and I keep forgetting that. That's 11. 12. Spin D. Imagine doing this like DJs. 
Now we gotta sort the microbes. And you see we've got a bunch of microbes to sort. So let's see here. Where are you? Nope. You are that. I guess you were fried eggs. many left. Oh, come on! Three left and they're all gonna pass by at the same time. There we go. And we got an A. Now I kinda wonder how badly I really did on that biopsy. I seem to just be destroying everything else around here. No problems with malaria, so malaria isn't it. Mystery Woman, Gwyn Walton, the producer. And we like that, I think. And he can't have anything like that. Wonder why. Anybody's in pets. A cockatoo bought years ago. Nope. What about the bad smell. Condition might be hygiene related. Nope. So diagnosis. He probably got the flu. Flu doesn't quite then let's see. Exotic working hours. We'll talk about his working hours. Does he look exhausted? So that's a failure. How about the exotic diseases? And so nothing like that. She's being awfully evasive. So we'll look at secrets. Released from the hospital immediately because she's annoyed. Sounds about right. <sighs> Good old house. Sure, it's not a respiratory problem. But he's never been vaccinated. Strong immune system. Uh huh. Let's see. Let's see if any special effects. Nope, just dry us some egg fog. So let's talk about Malaysia. Playing a strip club. Eh, that's not a strip club. House is disappoint. And she does have an appointment. Looking all over for a house. Introducing the crew. Look with the appointment. Angry creepy house. What appointment is she talking about? Follow her and find the answer. And now he's going to talk about old times while looking slightly constipated. Only hungry crocodiles. Then the ro then the rope starts to snap. Ah, terrible! You look slightly unconstipated. Wow. He's a legend. Big fat liar. Okay, yeah, house, whatever. 
Let me tell you something, young man. Blah, blah, blah. Blood pressure now goes off the charts. He starts feeling like he's having a heart attack. And now our very first agreed upon solution is apparently wrong. Who saw that coming? Answer, everyone who's ever seen an episode of House. And lung biopsy is negative. We'll be back from a word after a word from our sponsor. And we will be back next time after, you know, I stop the video and restart it. Something like that. Just imagine there's a 23 and a half hour commercial or something. It works for me. So anyway, take care folks. With this shocking cliffhanger that it suddenly isn't the first thing that I can't pronounce. With that revealed, time to call the video. When we return, we come up with wild theory number two, which will all in, in all likelihood not work out either. Take care, folks. Bye.